A. So let's solve this problem. So an elevator is at the middle floor of a building. Then move up 4 floors. Move down 6 floors. Move up 10 floors and stop. The elevator was now 3 floors from the top. So how many floors does the building have? So to solve for this problem, first we let n be the number of floors. Then since in the problem, the elevator was now 3 floors from the top and n is the number of floors. So therefore, this one is n minus 3. Then since an elevator is at the middle floor of the building, so to find the middle floor from the number of floors, so that's n over 2. Then since move up, so plus, plus 4, move down, so that's minus, minus 6, move up, so plus, plus 10. So to solve for n, so we have n minus 3 equals n over 2. Then add all these numbers, so 4 minus 6, that's negative 2, and negative 2 plus 10, that's positive 8. Then combine all terms with n, so we have n, transpose this n minus 2, so that becomes negative n minus 2 then equals 8 transpose this negative 3 that becomes positive 3 then simplify so this n minus n minus 2 so we have n minus n minus 2 so using the butterfly method over 1 so multiply this one is 2n then minus n over, that's positive 2, so that's equal to n over 2. So this n minus n minus 2 is equal to n over 2, then equals 8 plus 3, that's 11. Then to solve for n, so do cross multiplication, so n times 1, that's n, equals 2 times 11, that's 22. So this building has 22 floors. But since in the problem, the elevator starts at the middle floor and there is no middle for even numbers, so therefore, to have a middle floor, just add 1 for this 22. So, therefore, this building has 23 floors.